These four men are in court in New Zealand for a crime said to have been committed in the United States through a website based in Hong Kong. If that confuses you, it's because it is a little complicated. Kim.com, that is his name, and his three co-accused are the latest targets of the US Justice Department, and this is their biggest catch to date. Bit by bit, unlimited. Mr. Dotcom is well known in the industry. He's the man behind Mega Uploads, which was, until America flicked the switch overnight, a massive, globally popular file sharing website with perhaps ironically American celebrity endorsement. Users 1 billion a day, 50 million. The site claims to have a 4% share of the internet. It's essentially a file sharing platform. Users can exchange anything from music to TV shows to films. And that's where it's hit the buffers. The US Justice Department says it's near the top of the list of copyright infringing websites who must be stopped. It doesn't matter that its servers and staff are in far-flung corners of the globe. America has the ability and it believes the right to block the site and put those behind it in court. The view has been that in fact Mega Upload facilitated uh, copyright material to be hosted on their websites. I think you know, one of the things that I'd really like to emphasize to people is, you know, if you're downloading material using peer-to-peer -peer websites or sharing information, you really have no sort of, um, uh, you know, you're not entirely sure of the integrity of the data that you're having. Online retaliation was swift and predictable. The hacking group Anonymous bombarded servers belonging to the FBI. The result, a so-called denial of service attack. Its websites knocked offline for a while. Earlier this week, Wikipedia led an online protest calling for a stop to proposed US legislation which could broaden the number of websites accused of breaking the law. That appears to have worked. The Senate now says the vote on the bill will be delayed. All this is essentially an argument about the handling of stolen goods. It doesn't matter that they're not material and that they are instead passing through wires in servers like this around the world. The argument is pretty simple. If you didn't pay for it and it doesn't belong to you, then you shouldn't be sharing it or allowing it to be shared. Back in New Zealand, Kim.com's mansion, his pink Cadillac and all his assets have been seized. If extradition is granted, he and the others will be in an American court soon.